Right now on your 13 Action News update, authorities say a body has been recovered near the Boulder Islands on Lake Mead. This is the same area where a woman went missing just last week. National Park Service Rangers and Metro Search and Rescue Unit were working together on this. We're told the medical examiner is on the way to the scene to confirm the person's identity and determine how they died. The FDA is pausing its ban on Juul products. All electronic nicotine delivery systems, including those made by Juul, are required to have FDA authorization to be marketed. Juul's application was denied on June 23rd, but now the FDA says there are scientific issues unique to Juul that warrant additional review. Well, drivers are getting a bit of a break at the pumps this week. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of gas is down eight cents from last week to $4.80. Analysts say that's because of lower demand right now. That could change soon since July is usually the busiest month for summer travel. Right now, the most expensive gas in the U.S. is on the West Coast in California, Oregon and Arizona. The least expensive gas is in South Carolina, followed by Georgia and Mississippi. But quite frankly, Justin, uh, maybe you should just stay inside and not go anywhere because it is quite hot out there. Yeah, it's uh, all pretty expensive out there, Justin, and the heat is on. It's going to get worse as we roll into the weekend inside and the air conditioning sounds pretty good. Your Wednesday afternoon, 101 degrees. This evening is clear, still a lingering south breeze, and even after sunset at 9 p.m., we're just slipping into the low 90s. We're going to climb to 105 on Friday, 107 Saturday, 108 Sunday, and here's a heads up. It'll be close to 110 early next week for the first time this year. Could even see a storm on Tuesday. Justin, that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com and our free mobile app.